how to use the symmetrical ruler tool in Clip Studio Paint. Creates great symmetrical designs with many of the tools such as oil paint and selections. And you can see the symmetrical ruler there, just those purple lines just emanating from that central point. The key thing is the figure tool. Slightly confusing in many ways. The figure tool includes the ruler. And that's the one you want, the ruler. There's frame and many others, but ruler is the key one. And even that's got additional tools. Down the bottom, symmetrical ruler. You can also see linear ruler, curve ruler and others. Apply the symmetrical ruler to the current layer using the current settings for the tool. The key panels are tool, subtool and layer and you can access them via the window menu. Layer panel, just go over there, right click on that little ruler. You can see the ruler there, if you want to delete the ruler. So delete ruler at this point. That's it, it's gone. So the ruler's been removed. Well now what you can do, you can add a new ruler using the ruler tool. Just go there and you can see the tool property. What you can do, you can change the number of lines. So you can maybe make it eight or 10 or 16. When you go to 10, you'll notice a line symmetry or 12. When it's even, you'll see line symmetry appear. With line symmetry on, wonderful mirror designs can be created with brush strokes and pencil and oil. When line symmetry is turned off, you will only see one line or one stroke applied to each of the divisions. Also, there's an option there of step of angle. What you can do is set that to 45 and you can see it will snap. As you go around, it will snap at 45 degrees, which is quite useful if you want at 45 degrees. You can also set it to say 30 or 90 and just go again, go around and it will snap at those. The creator editing layer. All that does is it just means it creates it at the current layer. Let's go and create a symmetrical ruler. That's the key thing. And then apply brush strokes to the current layer. Now I'm going to remove the current one. So I just removed that layer and I'm just going to create a new layer, symmetrical ruler. And now what you can do, you can go over to one of the brushes, oil paint. I'm just going to use oil paint, I'm going to set the color and apply it. And now as you do that, you can see it straight away, it creates these lovely, beautiful lines, all symmetrical, all coming out from that central point. And you can apply it multiple times, you can change the brush strokes. You can go to pencil and many others as well. Now I've just filled the document there with white. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to add, create a new design there. You can see, see the oil paint a bit more. And you can repeat that multiple, multiple times. What you can do, also do, go to a layer and new layer, new raster layer, click OK. And then you suddenly find you haven't got the symmetrical ruler anymore. It's gone. So you can create a new one. Now you can add it to the existing position. So you can just put it over near the existing position or you can put it somewhere else. So I'm just dragging it out there and create it. And it's for that layer. Go back to the old layer and the symmetrical ruler will reappear. Now you go to the recently created layer and now you'll get the symmetrical ruler. And again, go to one of the pen tools or oil paint and just apply some new brush strokes. Now the symmetrical design is slightly off from the original symmetrical design. You can change that if you want. You don't have to use it there. You can move it around, position it over the top of the previous one. You can use the move tool to do that. Move the layer around and the symmetrical ruler will follow that move. And again, you can continue to apply brush strokes like oil paint or pencil or pen.
And again, go over to the move tool and you can move the layer and you can drag it. Now you'll notice there's a slight break there. You've got the line, but with the oil paint, you can smudge it a bit. So it just sort of, you really don't see it after a while. And you can apply it multiple times. And change the color. Now you don't have to always use that one. You can also use different blending modes with the layer. So as soon as you change the blending mode, say the difference or darken, you can then still apply the oil paint or pencil or pen, etc. And it will all be reflected in that symmetrical design. You can apply filters with a symmetrical ruler active, but the symmetry will be lost. The blur will just blur the symmetry. But you can also use, say, the decoration brush and just apply different decorations. Or maybe the caution keep out. Or the hearts. Or maybe the rainbow brush. The rainbow will obey the symmetrical ruler. And I'm just going to go to that layer and add the rainbow design multiple times to the current layer. If I had changed the tool property, line symmetry, if off, it would have only created one line per division. Set on, you can see two lines per division for the rainbow. Now you can go and create a new layer, and again you can go and add a new ruler. And then go back to that decoration tool and apply yet more rainbow design. So you can play it different directions. You can create really complex or very basic designs very quickly. What you can also do, you can flatten the entire image and that's it. You can see now you've actually got multiple symmetrical rulers, but I'm going to remove those. I'm just going to go over to there and again to that right side and you can then click delete ruler. Again, go over to the figure tool and the symmetrical ruler. Just drag that out and apply again. There's some other tools that use symmetrical ruler. Not all of them will use it. The gradient doesn't, but you can use, say, the selection tools. So you can create a marquee polyline. So you can see then, when you drag that out, you can see the polyline is created using the symmetrical ruler's divisions, used to create very unique selections. And you can fill that, of course, with brush strokes, but I'm going to use a gradient. Now, the gradient doesn't use the symmetry, which is slightly disappointing. It would be really nice if it did, but it doesn't. So you can fill it with that, but you can see the symmetry is totally lost. If you use the invert selection and then apply the gradient, you can definitely see the symmetry is totally lost. And you can repeat this multiple times with different selections. So just go to the selection tool, maybe add another polyline or maybe a rectangle and just apply that. And that again creates all kinds of really unique selections using that symmetry. Then fill with the same gradient, or perhaps a different gradient, or gradient type, or brush strokes. To create all kinds of super complex, beautiful designs. Now the symmetry rule there, you can gain what you can do. You can always then go over to the right click in the layer panel and remove it using the delete command. Use the selection area menu to deselect. Hope you found this video of interest. Please subscribe to the channel, always adding new tutorials. Please add a comment, also a dislike or like. Thank you much.